Even before Street Fighter VI released, I had found myself bound to the character I was going to play. But what if this character you ascribe yourself to ends up getting in the way of your enjoyment with the game? At the end of Street Fighter V, I had fallen in love with how Rainbow Mika played. Ooh, that might, that might, that might, that reset might have killed him. Oh my god, I'm sick! Oh, I'm f nasty! Oh, Bones, did you see that? Officially grappler pilled, my eyes shifted to Street Fighter VI, looking for a similar playstyle. Through the roster leaks and her reveal trailer, my eyes and the eyes of many landed on Manon. A grappler using half circle inputs for her grabs, just like Rainbow Mika did, with moves that pull opponents in for a mix, great long limbs for poking, and even a move which allows her to twirl right through projectiles. She seemed perfect. At the game's release, I immediately picked her up, and she was a lot of fun. Fun as she may have been, it rather quickly became obvious that she wasn't all that great strength wise. Her great limbs for poking were very committal and could easily be caught with drive impact or jumped over, and her twirl to go through projectiles was at best inconsistent and at worst utterly useless, to the point you barely ever saw it used. But whatever, Miko wasn't amazing at the end of 5 either, and she was the most fun I had ever had with the game, so I kept on playing Manon regardless. More and more players kept dropping Manon, yet I stayed steadfast. No matter how weak Manon may or may not have been, I had a lot to improve upon with my own gameplay. So no way I'd be blaming my losses on Manon, right? Season 2 might be... Season 2 might bring some good buffs anyway. Right? May 22nd. Akuma dropped and brought with him jack shit for Manon. Not gonna lie, morale was low. Oh, how the fuck did that not work? <laughs> We're going nuts! We're going nuts! Holy shit! I don't got this, bro. But yet again, there was still so much for me to improve on. So on I went with Manon. A lot of reflecting later. By playing matches with close friends and people from the Dutch FTC, my Street Fighter VI play started to improve. I had cleaned up my neutral a lot, no longer throwing out random buttons, and with the help of my girlfriend, I became a lot calmer when playing ranked. My efforts to improve, the tips I had got and my mental boost catapulted me from Diamond 2 to Masters before the end of the week. Before any of this, after reaching Diamond, I had more or less retreated away from the ranked mode entirely as almost assuredly it would get me very, very angry. However, having worked on both my online anger and my online play in general, I was quite proud of myself, and so were the people who had helped me get there, talking about how I had made such great improvements in my own play in such a short time. Thrilled to have made it to Masters, I yet again began playing with the people who had helped me to get there. Same like we did so many times before, together in a lobby and just go for as long as we could. But this time something felt different. I was undeniably playing better, taking far more games than I usually did, and the losses were closer than they had ever been. I had improved. However, each loss suddenly felt heart-wrenching. I had spent so much time getting better and better, improving on all fronts, yet I was still losing more than I was winning, and I had a hard time accepting these losses as my own the toxic mindset of, if I was playing a better character I wouldn't have lost, or if they were playing a worse character they wouldn't have won, began setting in. And my performance at Crossover in Oberhausen, Germany, shattered any hope I had still left in my Manon. I finally started feeling like my character pick was hindering my progress and my enjoyment of the game. I told people around me that I had lost at character select. So I cracked and the Tuesday after, on stream, made the decision to pick up Jury. Yeah, I mean, and those things are all really easy to do. I don't know, I'm so worried about uh, my Manon. Somehow it doesn't like connect to me. <laughs> that other characters can do things without having to spend three bars. 
I can't go anywhere else from that combo, right? I can boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, that is 3k? And build me a little thing so I can do like this. From the start of Street Fighter 6, Manon had become me. To many people I played, I was known for my Manon and how scary she was in my hands. Whether this was just glazing or not, I definitely felt pride in my Manon. Reaching master and becoming better and better with the character so many others had dropped felt really good. But the toxic mindset it had left me with a few days before crossover certainly didn't feel good. So with a heavy heart, I dropped Manon, and I've been playing and practicing during. My feelings here may seem very silly to many of you. I know there's people who play the entire cast, and I know players who can never find a true name to call their own. Yet this feeling of betrayal, and my time with Manon having been for naught, stayed with me. Going on with Jury though, it made me realize that my time with Manon was certainly not pointless. I have had incredible fun with her as a character, made great memories, and definitely learned how to become better at Street Fighter. My experience with her won't just wash away because I began experimenting with another character. And regardless who I may end up joining UFA with, I'll be a better player because of all my efforts with Manon. And who knows, maybe we'll see some buffs later, or my third strike main Elena comes to swoop me off my feet. Don't pin yourself down. Make sure to never limit your own enjoyment and keep on playing fighting games. Some of you may have noticed I haven't uh, uploaded anything for a while. And though long hiatuses aren't anything new to the channel, this time I certainly didn't sit still. Together with now good friend Jay Free, I've started a new channel named Active Frames. Dedicated to showing the Dutch FGC, the wider EU scene, and of course, how incredible fighting games are and how fun they can be at any it was level. At this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> oh my god! Links to the new channel in the description, and more videos on the main channel coming soon as well. Hope to see you there and take it easy.